Hello, my name is Aaron. My name is Mike. My name is Rick. I'm Greg. I'm Pete. And we're in Me Without You! <laughs> <laughs> from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, back in the United States. Uh, just got into England a couple days ago. On the wall of the house, on the photograph, my forehead, no longer sweet, the boy kisses, worthy of your fiery lips. I've been writing about, my, um, about God and my understanding of what's true and, and what the reason we exist is, and those sort of questions. I don't claim to have the answers to tell people, well, this is what you should believe, follow us or do what we do or say, believe what we believe. We don't even all agree within the band about uh, who God is or how we should live, but we all do agree that we, w we want to live a life where we, where we love each other and try to figure out what the truth is. questions and the reality of God and <clears throat> whereas a young lady can decide to leave. So I'm more excited about the newer songs because they're about these things that are more universal. You know, everybody has to wonder about that at some point or another. There's, there's, uh, there's animals that will blend into their surroundings or um, uh, the leaves themselves are on a tree and collect the sunlight for, for the tree to gain nourishment and then there's roots in the ground that drink up the water and it seemed like everything in the creative world has this order. We took the twine we used to use to tie how tight our tattered shoes and twisted twig, the crooked cross a necklace for the deeply lost You build her with the broken bread Mother to the baby chick You made this world look so nice I wonder if the next one's like Oh, the spider yellow leaf Oh, the spider yellow leaf Oh, the spider yellow leaf Confirms my deepest hell. You guys are too cool. So the song is is just uh, is based on this spider that I saw is blending into this leaf, and of course, like as the well, it's yellow and then it's orange and it's brown, so it gets older and dies and it's no more. So, and it's also pointing toward this inevitable uh, reality. We all understand, of course, that we're going to die one day. And it's something that's hard to forget about when you're putting all your energy into something like, well, we're going to get popular, we're going to sell more records, we'll get a label in this country, and we'll travel to these states, and we'll gain a fan base, and we'll meet girls, and make money, or gain respect. But in the back of your mind, you're like, yeah, but I'm still going to die. So what does any of that matter, really? I mean, for the majority of the universe, the time that it exists, I'm not going to be here. Sweater twirling in an unsuspecting smile, little Moses drift downstream the Nile, fumbling reply, an awkward, rigid laugh, and I'm carried out by a floating basket raft. Your flavor in my mind, back and forth between sweeter than wine, bitter as mustard greens. 
Light and dark as honeydew as pumpernickel bread The trap I set free seems to have caught my legs played a lot of shows in our day. Yeah. So I think we'll know what to do when the time comes. sleep last night till seven. It wasn't because I was like partying with chicks or anything. I just <laughs> laid on the floor. Me I was partying sleep. with my brain. I just couldn't fall asleep. In the trap I set for you seem to call my life. 